One of those platforms is the IGF. Uh, it's a perfect platform where you bring all the stakeholders. You bring big tech companies, you bring civil society organizations, you bring governments, you bring policy makers, you bring users of, of, of this together. Uh, and we all sit down and look at a harmonized framework that works and addresses the, the needs of the user, the privacy and protection of the user, the policy framework for government that, that protects the interest, the business models of the businesses themselves. So, I mean, a platform like the IGF is fantastic where we, we all come together and have these discussions. The various sessions give a position paper that leads and guides. And I think that the United Nations is doing a very good job. The UN Secretary General's high-level panel that has put on digital governance, for me, is one fantastic opportunity that gives a roadmap that we can all come together, buy into it, and then implement. I mean, when you have just technical people meet without policy makers, there's no connection between the technical ideas they have and the policy makers putting together the legislation that's going to give impetus to the technical ideas. When the technical people also meet without the users, you realize that the technical people talk technical stuff, but it's not reflective of what the needs of the users of that technology is. When you have technical people just meet without the businesses, you realize that you can have all the fine, fantastic technical ideas to protect the end user, but the business models do not fit and work with it. So you realize that there's a, right now what we have is a disconnect between all the various players in the industry. The IGF brings all of us together and then gives a harmonized framework, which is, which is a good platform.